We're going to get into the clutch collectible stuff real quick. Big shout out to uh, Vinny Kumar. Uh, we've talked about this. Yeah. Uh, this guy went through hell to get this card. Um, I sent it out. <laughs> I sent it out probably two weeks ago, registered mail, spent a bunch of money. Thank God we insured it and it got lost. And he finally got it just the other day. So big shout out to uh, Vinny Kumar. Pulled a in one of our breaks on one of our group breaks. Uh, pulled this Shohei Otani numbered out of fifty gold auto, massive hit. I mean, this is probably oh. you know anywhere from five to ten k. Uh, he's gonna get it graded. It looks perfect. I don't see how it doesn't come back at ten. Um, and if Otani is, is truly healthy this year and they start playing, uh, it, it could just be unra- outrageous price. So big shout out to Vinny Kumar and uh, everybody on the uh, Discord page, yep. uh, Clutch Collectibles, for, for joining in those breaks. Now, speaking of those breaks, um, uh, this is where – this is the box. Uh, we opened this a similar box this same exact year. I have one more to go. Um, and this is to talk to all the guys on the Clutch Collectibles group. I promise you I'm not going to do what I did over the weekend anymore. I will get these books up on the thing so we are these 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 boxes up on there so we can break them. I have one more uh Bowman Chrome that uh where that Otani was pulled the same same box. I have three more of the 2018 Tops Chrome baseball which have five autographs. These things have just totally jumped in price, outrageous uh the price on these, but we're going to break them on Discord. I also found a shit ton of these 1990 Fleer basketball uh, with the Jordan. Everybody's going crazy for anything Jordan right now. This has uh, probably one of the last real Fleer Jordan cards, non-insert cards that's worth anything. Um, and so I'll have a bunch of these boxes for sale too. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll eventually crack this, which has the uh, Derek Jeter Bowman rookie. But – what I, I, do, I do? Wait, wait, wait! I, I do want to say we got a we got a uh, we got a nice uh, team mixer going right now. We got a uh, 2020 top series one. We got a top 2020 tops inception and a 2020 Damn. queen. So. Uh, ben, throw up that Michael Jordan real quick because that's uh, the the Jordan card that Ben's showing right now is the same Jordan you can pull out of these 90 Fleer ins- 90 Fleer boxes that I showed. So amazing Jordan card. He's doing the jump man right into the camera. Love that card. Love that card. Um, but. So anyways, I have a very big problem. If you're a flip side fan, you know this. I have a very big problem of um, partaking a little too much in uh, my uh, friend cannabis and opening up boxes that I should be breaking on the clutch collectibles. So I had this prison football box, and it was just sitting there, and I said, I'm super bored. I really want to open it. I'm glad I did. I feel bad for the clutch collectibles people who had a chance and I just didn't put it up. So you really didn't have a chance, but you could have had a chance, but I will put up the other boxes and let me show you what I pulled out of this fun stuff. What year is this? This is uh last year, 2019. All right. So I'm going to start. Let's see here. I'm going to start just by showing you that. Oh gosh. I didn't even know it was a one-on-one at first until I looked at the back. But uh, I, I'm sorry, Sean. I'm sorry, Big oh, Sean. Oh, no, you did it? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, shit. Josh Jacobs. Wow. Oakland Raiders, ru- rookie running back, autoed one of one, the black prism. If, you have a Ra- if you're a Raiders fan and you get a Raiders rookie, you couldn't ask for more than having it be a one of one black prism. Wow. Oh, That's awesome, bro. Shit. Yeah. So I don't even know what to sell this card for. I mean, I'm like, pretty sure Sean's in the car now, heading your way. <laughs> I mean, I if that's know. not a if that's not a uh, like day before opening day started at a penny live auction. Let it roll and uh, five minutes before kickoff. I don't know what is. I just don't know, like, what do you sell this stuff for? Um, there's, I tried to find something that compares to it. There's really no other Josh Jacobs one hundred ones that, like, uh, like I would think that if you wanted a one hundred one of Josh here's, Jacobs, here's, this is the here's card. One, Brian, one, one just listed. Um, 
Panini Prism, Josh Jacobs Auto Black Finite, one of one. It's similar. Autograph. Um, the guy's got it. It's a brand new listing. He just listed it for 6000 or best offer. There you go. Damn. Are you going to grade it? Brian? Oh, uh, yeah, I think you kind of have to, right? Yeah. Or I mean, maybe not. Well, me, no, no. See, me and what Stein talked about this because I got that. I got this Nixon's out one of one that I, I picked up raw. Yep. And uh, if it's not a 10, bro, I wouldn't it grade it, right? It's a one of one. It doesn't it's matter. It's a one of one. But it, it is. Yeah, thank you. I'm telling you guys, Why the hell does it, it matter? Is perfect. It's fucking perfect. It's it's centered. Per I mean, if you look at the centering, it looks like it might be a little bit off in this picture on the right side. When you when I really look at it, it looks perfect. I don't I mean, know. It doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't hurt to, to grade it, but it's going to be expensive because let's let's just say the six thousand is really high. Let's say it's just a twenty five hundred dollar card. Um, it's going to be expensive. You're going to have to you're going to have to go a minimum of the seventy five, maybe the hundred dollar service. Um there's not much there's not much gain if it's if it's if it's mint just put that in if you're going to list it to sell just put mint and it doesn't really matter i mean it doesn't matter if it's a nine doesn't matter if it's an eight yeah there's a only ten. it's a one of one if, if, if there's somebody who really wants it they don't that as long as it's not like got a crease in it or something like that that just makes it unbearable to look at so it costs um, you a hundred bucks to grade it it cost me yeah 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 it's probably going to cost Seems a minimum like so this, it, it's going to be twenty dollars to ship it to them, twenty dollars to ship it back. So one hundred, um, one hundred and fifty seems yeah, negligible. Yeah, one hundred and fifty for the price you could get it for. Maybe it's, it's just maybe that's what, maybe that's the disconnect between comics and cards. Like, well, it's it's honestly you think of it think of it this way. All right, so remember the Jim Lee sketches out of um, what was it? The Dark was it when he did the Dark Knight when he did like those ten sketches or something like that? Yeah. Yep. You didn't really need those graded. I mean, it, it would. It was still a Jim Lee sketch. It was, yeah. you know, basically. You knew it was authentic. You knew that you know it's not like you you got it you know, you know drawn yourself and needed somebody to authenticate it to be able to sell it. This is the same thing. It's not. Nobody's going to question the authenticity of this. So, uh, I guess it's just black and white for me. Well, unintended well, Raiders fans. Well, I know, well, I, Paul, I know you would send it to PSA, then get it back, crack it, send it to Beckett, and then maybe try SGC as well, just to see which one looks the best. I guess that's it, not right? a bad idea with this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm contemplating maybe even sending it in. How beautiful would this look if it is really nice and it has even a, a, a small chance of getting into a black Beckett graded? You know, oh, if it comes dope. out of ten of ten, that's twenty and, grand right there. Then, yeah, it, it, and you throw that, you throw that in a black Beckett case. I just, I, I mean, I don't, I don't think I, the the grade is is irrelevant. Yeah, I whether it gets a pristine ten or an eight, there hmm. might be a slight price difference, but anybody who's wanting the one of one, it's it the card just stands alone by itself. I don't think you have to get it graded. It would yeah. it would probably present well. I mean, it would present well in an SGC case because it's got the black border around it anyway. So yeah, yeah. So I mean, and those would probably be cheap. You could probably get by with twenty five bucks from them. So yeah. Well, it was uh, it was pretty exciting. So basically, um, you know, I pulled I pulled that. I pulled a couple other really cool cards. I pulled a um, a Joe Montana. Uh, red uh, numbered prism, which looks beautiful because, you know, he's in the red 49ers jersey. It just looks really nice. I think that will sell well. I pulled a, a Kyler base rookie, two Daniel Jones base rookies, um, uh, you know, so two other autos. It, it, it was a really good box, but I never could believe that that was sitting in there. Uh, just like I could never believe that the Shohai Otani was sitting. That's the thing about cards. Like, you just never – Never know. I, I, the Raiders are in Vegas for the first year. They're, yeah. they're they're hype. A lot of people are saying their team looks really yes. good right now on paper. Put that uh, bitch up in like September. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And so it's, it's the really Raiders good point are dashed. Too. 
That Beckett's going to grade the auto, so you got to be careful on that as well. Auto it's looks just perfect. A, yeah, the auto so. perfect. I think I, you know what? I it, here's the only problem. The only problem, and let me show you guys this. The only problem with uh, Prism cards is they use the sticker auto. Yep. On on their on all their base stuff. So I'm pretty sure that they 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 knew they were putting it on a one one, so they chose probably one of the best sticker autos. And I I. I'm not worried about the auto. The auto. At least he has a decent auto. Let's talk about that. I mean, yes. we've, we've seen lazier ones. Yes. Um, so. Ball, ball. Ball, ball. Ball, ball. Um, ball, ball. But, yeah, uh, just just craziness. So, again, um, there is, there's, there's more boxes coming. Like Dino said, there's a lot of stuff coming from uh, other places. Uh, I'll be putting these up in the next couple of days. We'll try and fill these. Um the prices on these 2018 stuff is just going skyrocketing. So we're gonna we're gonna try and open them and see if there's any more luck in there. And what I will say is, I've been hot lately, gentlemen. I've been hot. 